Kolbe's law, which says that the total pressure inside of a container is going to be equal to the sum of the individual pressures of each gas present in that container. So for this problem, the total pressure will be equal to the pressure of the hydrogen in the container plus the pressure of the water vapor, which is inside of the container. Now to give us a visual to help us better understand what's going on, we have a container here, and you can see that I have two different color particles drawn in. The red particles are representing molecules of diatomic hydrogen. The blue dots are representing molecules of water. Our first step in problem solving is to identify both our known and unknown variables. Uh, so we were given some information about the total pressure inside of the container. That was equal to 0.987 atmospheres. We were also provided information about the vapor pressure of water. This was 17.5 torr. And what we're trying to find out is what is the pressure of the hydrogen gas present inside of that container. As I look at this, I can see that I'm going to have an issue. Uh, the problem is that we're given the total pressure of the container in units of atmospheres, and we're given the partial pressure of water in the container in units of torr. This is going to require that we set up a conversion so that we're comparing both of our pressures with the same unit. All right, let's go ahead and do that conversion. We know that we have a partial pressure of water of 17.5 torr, and we want to convert this to atmospheres. So I'm going to set up my dimensional analysis. And uh, when we look up the relationship here, we would find that one atmosphere is equal to 760 torr. So as we calculate through 17.5 divided by 760, we should find a partial pressure for the water vapor of 0 0.0230 atmospheres. And that's the value that we'll need to continue our calculation uh, to solve this problem. We've converted now our partial pressure of water to units of atmospheres, and this is going to be the same unit as what we had for our total pressure inside of the container. So now we can apply Dalton's law of partial pressures to help us solve this problem. Earlier we said that uh, our part pressure of hydrogen is what we were looking for. Now we can apply this and we can solve for the pressure of hydrogen in order to uh, figure out how to work with all the values present in this problem. So the pressure of hydrogen should be equal to the total pressure, and we're going to subtract from that the pressure of the water vapor. Here we've solved to find the partial pressure of hydrogen. It will be found by subtracting the partial pressure of water from the total pressure inside of the container. Uh, so I've gone ahead and substituted in our known values. So we're going to have the total pressure of the container, 0.987 atmospheres. We're subtracting from that the partial pressure of water, which was 0 0.0230 atmospheres. Uh, this allows me to find a solution for the partial pressure of hydrogen. We calculate a value of 0.964 atmospheres. We do want to report this answer to three significant digits because as we are adding or subtracting, we're always going to keep the last full column. Which means that our answer should also be significant to the thousandths column.